السلام علیکم فرینڈز مائی نیم از محمد یونس اینڈ آئی ایم اوڈو ٹیکنیکل ڈیولپر سو پلیز فرسٹ تھنگ از ٹو سبسکرائب ٹو آر چینل پلیز کلک دا ریڈ سبسکرائب بٹن ٹو سبسکرائب ٹو آر چینل اینڈ آلسو کلک دا بیل آئیکن سو دیٹ یو کین گیٹ دا اپڈیٹس آف دا اپ کمنگ ویڈیوز سو وی آر کرنٹلی ورکنگ آن اوڈو سکسٹین ٹیکنیکل کورس ان دس کورس ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وی ہیو ڈسکسڈ ہاؤ ٹو ایڈ اے کسٹم مینیو اینڈ اے کسٹم ایکشن okay so in this video we are going to talk about uh, how to add a filter in Udo uh, 3 view okay so uh, you can see in every uh, tree view you have uh, the option to filter the records so like in this case we have this filter option and there are different options available to filter this records okay and if we enter here uh, anything uh, So you have different options that uh, will help you to quickly search uh, the term that you have added okay so if i you can just quickly search it like this so if i go to the products menu uh, and here uh, we have also uh, some uh, uh, quick options like uh, if i search this term i have the options to search whether uh, you want to search with the product name you want to search with the category we want to search the attribute so uh, it will quickly show you the um, related product okay so in this case we need to add the similar functionality but we need to add it for our custom field which is a uh, uh, processor okay so currently we don't have any quick search option for this one uh, but we also have the options to manually add uh, this here uh, like a processor if you go here this is the processor and you can search it like this but let me tell you how you can do it first of all you need to activate the debug mode so in order to activate the debug mode what you need to do is to go to the settings and uh, under the settings you will see the options to uh, activate the uh, developer mode here you will see uh, click uh, this uh, uh, activate so no Uh, I have already activated the debug mode therefore uh, we don't have the options to uh, activate the uh, developer mode okay so we don't uh, want to uh, click it here so let me go back to the sales module and uh, go to the products menu so once you activate the debug mode you will act see this uh, debug icon so here you need to click it here and uh, click this option edit search view So this is the search view that is responsible for showing these are uh, different searches that we uh, apply to quickly search the record. So here uh, you can see uh, the category ID, name, and uh, we saw another attribute which was something like, uh, okay, so I forgot it. So uh, we need to edit the same like this. Okay, so what we need to do is here, uh, first of all, we need to uh, find the technical name of the field. So what is the technical name? here um, we need to bring the cursor or this question mark and here it will show us the technical name which is x processor okay so uh, let me go back and uh, list view and you will have uh, so if you click here on the form view and then you go here you uh, you still can see uh, this search view if you go here like this okay so uh, let me just uh, add a new field which is uh, field name is equal to uh, x processor like this and like what filter domain we need to add here so let me just copy this and paste it here so the filter domain will be uh, we need to copy this x processor and here we need to use equal to okay so we need to use we can use equal to or i like so i like means it should not be exactly the same thing but uh, it can be uh, like uh, like this so like uh, if you enter just some of part of the value so it will return that okay and self means whatever you return uh, in the search it will be the self okay so just uh, save it and it's done okay let me go back to the tree view and refresh the page 
so if I search here i7 okay and here you can see processor let me just search it here you can see we got it so this is how simply you can add uh, uh, like some of the uh, filters but there is another uh, filter options that you can quickly just click on the option and it will show you the result so if you click on the services it will show you all the products with a type service and if you click on uh, like products it will only show you the products that are uh, not service product okay so these are different options available so how you can add it so in order to do so you just need to follow the steps that we have done already and here uh, in order to add the quick search uh, functionality you just need to add a field and then you need to add a filter domain okay and in order to uh, add this click options to just uh, quickly uh, filter the records you just need to uh, use this filter option okay filter and then string and then name is equal to consumable is the technical name of the field so uh, like for example if we open any of these records so here you uh, we can say like uh, I want to sh see the records where uh, like processor is not set so something like this so let me just try to edit and uh, go to search you okay and here you can see products so we just need to uh, just duplicate this one in order to save time and just edit so here we can see uh, we can set like a uh, processor not set okay so here we need to add x processor and here we need to add uh, x processor x processor is actually the technical name so it is equal to uh, empty string you can see if it is not set then it it means it will be an empty string okay like this so if you save it and refresh the page okay so once we refresh the page so uh, we can see processor not set so if you click here you can see processor not set so uh, the filter is not working correctly so let me just check it okay so let me just try to add it here uh, if the field is false okay save it refresh the page okay and here you can see processor not set if you click here it will just hide one uh, product which is computer with the uh, processor is set so if you can see it will become 30 so this is how simply you can add it and if you want to add a uh, like uh, the or operation currently it is and operation okay so if you want to add the or operation you need to add the separator so let me show you what the separator is so here this is the separator so if you add the separator then it will uh, show you the records uh, in or relation so it will not be the end relation you so you, if you don't know about the or and and you need to search about it so this is simply how you can edit so the third thing is to add the group by so in order to add the group by so let me just show you so you just need to go to the search view and here at the bottom you will see group expand is equal to one and and string is equal to group by so here you can add the group by uh, option so if I uh, go here and let me just add one thing uh, if we can say like invoicing policy okay so let me just check the technical name uh, which is uh, okay what is the technical name okay so invoice policy okay so let me just go to the search view and just call duplicate this one so 
we need to add here invoicing policy which is just a string so you can just add anything you want but it should be uh, p-o-l-i-c-y policy okay here you need to add exactly uh, the same uh, technical name policy okay and here you need to just paste it this this is the technical name of the field okay just save it refresh it and here you will see the group by option okay so currently you can see product type and then you can see internal category and then you can see invoicing policy so this is how it works this is our custom uh, product group by we have added so this is how it works so you can also add some uh, more group by so this is for this video if you enjoyed this video please give us a huge thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so also please click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you